Solstice is started yesterday, and 2GG definitely hit that landmark tournament. Well said. Man, that's got me all excited. I'm hyped. <laughs> I, I, I'm hopping on this train. This, this Take is with you, man. <laughs> the train has definitely left off, and let's go ahead and go to the next stop. That is going to be Abba versus Jay Dizzle. So we're going to Battlefield. You know, I've seen uh, Abba do a lot of work on the stage throughout the years. Uh, you know, you use that those big Mewtwo hitboxes to just trap people's landings on these platforms, mm -hmm. keep those combos going. Um, but you know, again, kind of like what I was saying about the Villager earlier, Toon can use this space, sit under a platform, and kind of poke with more safety than he would have on, let's say, a, a, you know, a stage with no platforms, like FD or Town and City sometimes. All right, there's that up air. Definitely JDS was looking to take opportunity in the fact that, you know, Aba is above him in these platforms. I'm going to try to use these platforms to my advantage, but Aba not going to have any of it. Now taking control of the stage and trying to come back. I love how JDS is going for those nares with a swipe forward and back. So this matchup can be a bit tricky for uh, Toon because uh, Mewtwo has that reflector. He has those super large hitboxes, like that forward air, for instance, that really outrange most of uh, Tuli's kit. Catches that grapple with the forward air just like that, so Jay Dizzle already on his last stock here in game one. Abadango with a strong start. All right, Abba taking the time to just charge the Shadow Ball. Has control already in play with the stage to himself and the percent lead. He doesn't have to approach, so the Shadow Ball will be useful here with his next conversion or any uh, applying more pressure to his opponent. Okay. Starts off with the net with two back airs. Yeah, reflects that bomb right back at him. So two of the characters that really relies on having those bombs confirmed. The forward air, some of that is his kills. So if Abba going to shut down that aspect of Jadizel's play, Jadizel's going to be in trouble when he reads that roll with an up smash. Out of nowhere, Jadizzle. Mm -hmm. Now back into the game. Both stocks are even, but the percents are not. Jadizzle needs to have a game plan. Alba pretty much in the lead. Tell me, Pion, what is Jadizzle going to have to start looking for now? He needs to establish that wall, right? He needs to uh, keep Mewtwo like, at boomerang distance at, and, and not get caught with his bombs being reflected, you know? Perhaps his whiff, or, you know, punish Abadango's whiffs and stuff like that. Play, play the slow game. Exactly, and that's what we're trying to see Jade Dizzle establish now, the slow game. Slow things down, bring it to a place that you prefer, but that Shadow Ball gonna take care of all of that. Now bringing the victory into Abadango's, Abadango's hands with 1-0. Oh. That was an impressive play, understanding the zone and the fact that the Shadow Ball would have actually just taken care of two Link's antics right away with that Zare. Yeah, you know, and we saw Jade Dizzle perhaps kind of get caught up uh, in the in game one, you know, Abadango seemed to just come out of the gates a little bit quicker. You know, came out with a little bit more fire. He seemed like he was more ready uh, once the ghost screen appeared. But once they just kind of settled into his element, uh, it started you know reading Abadango, exploiting his roles and stuff like that. I was really impressed with his play. But let's see if his adaptation will carry over to Abadango's counter pick because Abba is bringing out the Abba Bayo. Yeah. The Bayo Dango. Does that have a name? I don't know, man. I hope, I hope it isn't any. I hope he doesn't call himself that. Abonetta. I'm, I, I'm at Abonetta. <laughs> Abonetta or, or, or uh, oh, I forgot what the other one was. Whatever, either way. He will be calling himself Abonetta in Smash Ultimate. I've actually seen his uh, Inkling play. Yeah. Because uh, he was at Rage 2018. They had a nice little um, tournament going on there in Japan. If you haven't checked out those VODs, NVG League does have them. So go ahead and check that out. Abba was going ahead and using Inklings, showing off what he's going to be doing in the next game. But what matters is this game here in front of us right now, and that Bale versus Toon Link. A matchup that, you know, Toon Link definitely wants to have the spacing work and have cool. Bale away from him. But what what good is that when Abba is definitely in your face? Yeah, that's the thing, you know. Jay Dizzle right now showcasing to me that he can mix up his SDI on these Bale ladders. That's going to be what's important. And going to be caught with that air dodge. Abadon goes back here on point. So Jade is in a similar situation as he was last game. Oh my god, and that's going to be a uh, price to pay. He able to witch tie in that forward smash. I'm not liking this situation for Peon, uh, I'm sorry, for Jade is Peon, because you know what? He's having a difficult time just trying to take away the stock, and Alba's definitely run away with so much mileage right now that he's actually just able to shoot the man in the face. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, right now, Abadango is in that kill percent window for like bomb forward air and stuff like that. So Abadango is definitely in danger. So you know, he can't be too comfortable right now, but these ladders. Oh, okay, that up air, not gonna do it. Yeah, Abadango right, really safe off the ledge, you know, just jumping up, taking his time. But runs up and pulls the trigger, Jay Dizzle. He yeah. needs his game up, man. He's so good with that up smash, so accurate. Every time he throws it out, he seems to connect, you know? <laughs> Definitely. 
He was definitely looking for the cross up there, and that up smash is definitely one of those things to finally cross up Abba. But Abba still has the same stocks as uh, Jay Dizzle does, but the percent is different. So Abba definitely still has Jay Dizzle in a bit of a scary situation, and I do see Jay Dizzle slow it down. This is the same situation we saw at the beginning of the last game, where they were actually, at the ending of it, Jay Dizzle was trying to slow Abba to his pace, but it oh. can't happen with Bayo, because she moves definitely all around the air. Yeah, so, oh, so she definitely moves all around the air. Wow, ah. Abba going so deep, you know, Bayo can. Has such a good recovery. You know, low risk, high reward. Can JD as a hold on to his stock? You know, he's got this rage. He rack up some percent with projectiles and you know smart approaches. That boomerang coming in clutch, looking like Sokka. It always comes back. <laughs> That's I would tell the last bender reference. <laughs> <laughs> Alba just slowing it down, and Jade is also slowing it down as well. This is the pace that Jade is oh. kind of wants to be, and that bat within, and the witch time also. I kind of saw that coming out. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, oh no! He tried yeah. to go for a down air, and Alba just walked away and threw out that back air. It seems like you know, Alba Dongo, I call that the top player special, where mm -hmm. a top player will just sit there, will and 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 will just in a, in a high tense situation. They've been mm -hmm. there, they've done that.